guys, it's geeking time. So, every year in the month of May, there is an annual event happen that happens. This event usually falls on the first uh, Saturday in May. That event is what we call Free Comic Book Day. This is an event uh, that I like to go to every year because, you know, you can grab as many free comics as you can from the comic book shop uh, provided, you know, they let you know how many you can take. So, that being said, uh, it is this coming Saturday, May 6th, 2017. So today I'm just going to go over with you guys uh, the free comics that are going to be put out. They put out the list on the uh, official free comic book day website. So I'm going to go over the list with you guys today. I'm going to break it down to three parts. We're going to have the free kids comics. We're going to have the silver comics. And we're going to have the gold comics. The gold comics are the ones that everybody's going to want. So without further ado, here are the free comic books. So, with the kids' comic books, we've got Barbie from Paper Cuts. You know, I know it's kind of weird to have a Barbie comic book, but, you know, I guess girls can read comic books too. Why not? It's 2017, guys. Uh, we also have Loud House from Paper Cuts as well. Not too sure what that one is, but uh, maybe check it out, you know, for the kids. Uh, we've also got Boom Fresh Off the Boat, which is from Boom Studios. Uh, we've got Colorful Monsters from Drawn and Quarterly. Uh, we have Time Shifters from Graphics. We've also got uh, we've also got Miraculous from uh, Action Lab. Uh, we've got DC Superhero Girls based off of DC Comics's uh, Superhero Girls action figure line. Uh, that could be cool for the girls too. I mean, it, it combines all the female superheroes, which is pretty neat. Uh, we've got Monster High by Titan Comics, based again on the popular uh, girls' doll line. A lot of girls' comics this year. I mean, that's pretty cool, I, I think, honestly. Uh, we've got SpongeBob Freestyle Funnies, which, even though it's a kid's comic, I think I might pick that one up for myself. That's going to be a pretty funny comic to grab. It's from uh, United Plankton. Uh, we've also got Disney's Descendants, based on the uh, Descendants movie from the Disney Channel. That's coming to you courtesy of Tokyo Pop. And we've also got Underdog based on the uh, old TV series. And that is coming to you from American Mythology. So those are the kids' comics. If you're bringing your kids with you to Free Comic Book Day, be sure to pick one of those up for your kids. All right, so for the silver comics, we've got a comic book called Hilda's Back. This is from uh, No Brow Press. I'm not too certain who they are. They seem to be brand new. Uh, we've got another comic called Inkal from a comic book company called Humanoids Inc. Uh, we have Spill Night, if I'm not if I'm getting that right, Spill Night from colon zero one first seconds. I guess that's a new comic book company also. Uh, we've got Riverdale, the free comic book day special from Archie Comics, which is a uh, I'm not sure if it's a tie in to the TV series from CW or if it's just a standalone comic for free comic book day, but that's a that's going to be a pretty hot one, I'm sure of it. Uh, there's Hostage, coming from Drawn and Quarterly. Uh, we've also got World's Greatest Cartoonists from Fantastographics. That one could be cool because I'm certain that one's going to be all about the most popular uh, comic book artists uh, of our generation. That could be a cool one to check out, guys. Um, there's going to be another one called Ballad of Franklin. That's coming from Z2. Malika Warrior Queen from Unique Studios. Um, just looking at the cover, it looks pretty cool. So that could be one to check out as well. We also have uh, Lady Mechanica from Benitez Productions. Uh, again, I guess that's a new comic book uh, company as well. And the comic book itself looks pretty promising. Uh, we have Looking Glass Wars Crossfire from Automatic Pictures. Again, looking at the cover, this one looks pretty cool. Uh, there's also going to be Kaiser Soze, The Rift, from Red 5. I know Kaiser Soze as a character from the movie The Usual Suspects. So if that's, if that's what it's based on, then I'm definitely going to be picking that up. Uh, you've got Catalyst Prime from Lion Forge. We've got Steam Wars Strike Leader from Antarctic Press. If you guys know what Steam Wars is, Steam Wars is basically Star Wars but steampunk, so that's a pretty cool comic book to pick up. Uh, we've also got Kid Savage from Image Comics. 
That should be a promising title. Uh, we've got the new Grim Fairy Tales number one from Zenoscope. As what can I say about the Grim Fairy Tales of Zenoscope? You know, half naked women. That's what they market, and it does well. So you know it's going to be a hot one. Uh, we've also got Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the high school years, uh, number one, from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, this one, as you know, Dark Horse has been putting out season seven, eight, nine. Uh, I'm not sure where they're at right now, if it's at season 10 or 11. But this one comes to the high school years from like the first two or three seasons. So that's going to be a cool book to pick up. That's coming from uh, Dark Horse, like I said. Uh, we've also got the all-new Guardians of the Galaxy number one from Marvel Comics. Hot comic. I will be picking that up. As you all know, uh, Friday, May 5th, 2017, Guardians of the Galaxy comes out in theaters. Baby Groot, let's see it. Uh, we've got 2000 AD special from 2000 AD Comics. Uh, 2000 AD is known for their Judge Dredd comics, so that's going to be a cool one to pick up. We've got Captain Canuck from Chapter House. Uh, I, uh, Captain Canuck is usually a... Canadian comic book. Uh, hopefully it's sold overseas in the, in the United States as well because Captain Canuck is a pretty cool comic book as well. Uh, we've got Street Fighter, the wrestling... Uh, Street Fighter Five, sorry. The wrestling special. That's cool. Uh, it's coming from Udon Comics. I'm an absolute fan of Udon and their work, so that I'm definitely going to be picking it up. Uh, we've got TMNT. Shout out to my t-shirt there. Prelude to Dimension X from IDW Comics. Again, it's going to be a hot one. I'm going to pick that up for sure. Uh, we've got also The Tick. The Tick is back for another uh, two, a second year in a row with a free comic book. Guys, The Tick is awesome. We grew up with the cartoon. And we've got the preview of Dragon Ball Super and Boruto. I'm not a Naruto fan, so I can't really say I'm going to be into the Boruto story preview. But I am a huge Dragon Ball fan, so I'm definitely going to be picking up uh, the Dragon Ball Super uh, and Baruto's preview just for Dragon Ball Super. So those are the silver comics, guys. Ah, coffee. So, on to the gold comics. Now, with the gold comics, we've got The Legend of Zelda, The Twilight Princess. You know, growing up, a lot of people uh, played a lot of Zelda games and Mario games, so this one should be pretty promising. It seems pretty cool. Uh, we've got Attack on Titan by Kodasha Comics. Absolutely fantastic title. I feel like that one's going to go super fast. Uh, there, was a, there was an Attack on Titan comic last year, and it was sold out by the time I got in within the first 5-10 minutes. Uh, we've got Star Trek The Next Generation, Broken Mirror. Uh, sorry, Mirror Broken from IDW. Anything that has to do with Star Trek or Star Trek The Next Generation in the Mirror Universe, I'm there. So I'm definitely going to try and uh, grab this uh, one right here. We've got Betty and Veronica from the re newly redone, uh, revamped Archie from Archie Comics. Uh, we've got Bongo Free For All uh, from Bongo Comics, which they usually do Futurama and Simpsons comics. So I'm assuming that's going to be uh, basically, you know, uh, mainly about The Simpsons with a little bit of Futurama tied in there. We've got the reprint of DC Universe Reborn Wonder Woman number one. That's going to be hot because people who've been wanting that comic book, who have tried to get it, didn't feel like paying for it or whatnot, it's going to be free on free comic book day. Especially with the brand new movie coming out this summer, it's going to be a hot comic to pick up. We've also got Exo Manwar from Valiant. This is the free comic book day special. Pick that issue up. Valiant Comics have been on a roll lately. They're doing really well with their comics. Uh, there's going to be Avatar. Yes, the James Cameron movie from 2009. That mind-blowing, awesome science fiction masterpiece, Avatar. Dark Horse Comics is putting out a comic book of Avatar for free comic book day. I will pick that up, that's for sure. Uh, we've also got the Doctor Who special, which they put out a Doctor Who special every year on Free Comic Book Day. Four stories, one comic. You're going to have your 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th Doctor in there. Uh, we've also got Secret Empire number one from Marvel Comics. This one's going to be a very hot book. Last year, Marvel put out Civil War 2. The year before that, they put out Secret Wars. 
Little is known about special uh, about uh, this special right here, Secret Empire. Uh, it's going to be the new story arc for I guess for this uh, for this year. It's going to be cool, I think. We've also got I Hate Image coming from Image Comics. I'm assuming this is from the same people who did I Hate or F Fairyland, <laughs> uh, just with the with the Image universe. So this could be a pretty cool uh, title to look at. And. The comic that I'm looking forward to the most, I think, it is the one that I want to grab first when I get in there. Free comic book day special by Ani Press of Rick and Morty. Hopefully he finds that Mulan Szechuan McNugget sauce. So there's the comic book, guys. There's the comic books for free comic book day, guys. So before I leave you guys off, just to show you, uh, these are some of the cool comic free comic books I got over the past uh, couple of years at Free Comic Book Day. These two come from two years ago. You got uh, Captain Canuck Zero and the Tick. Tick and Captain Canuck have a free comic book this year, so that's cool. Uh, and then last year I picked up some of these ones here, you know, uh, Street Fighter V, ROM, Space Knight, which that one was pretty cool to see ROM, Space Knight come back. Street Fighter V is going to have a free comic book again, again this year. Uh, and I also picked up these two last year, Avatar X and Bruce Lee. Avatar X is by Grant Morrison. It's a fantastic comic. Uh, sometimes they put out, sometimes if they run out of stock, they'll put out uh, free comics from the year before. So if Avatar X is there this year, that would be cool to pick up for you guys. And Bruce Lee, it's just pretty cool because it's a Bruce Lee story. That being said, hopefully you guys will can, can make it out to free comic book day. Even if you're working and you have a comic book shop next to you and you can go on your lunch break, still try to go. One last thing, if you're going to go to your co local comic book shop to go for free comic book day, do go and support your local comic book shops. But also, try not to leave empty-handed because these guys, they're not just there to make money on... They're, they're not, they're not going to make their money on their free comic books that day. So if you're a true believer and you want to support your local comic book shop, a lot of them usually have specials. And if you're just looking for that one graphic novel or action figure you've been looking for, treat yourself that day. Show support to your local comic book shop. Free comic book day is Saturday, May 6th, 2017, which is this coming Saturday. Hope to see you guys all there. Remember, guys, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Peace!